Positive TV, anointed to impact the world. Jesus Christ to mankind. The man who volunteered to come and died, to come and bridge the gap between us and God, the understanding of God, when we lost everything, when we don't understand what to do anymore, he volunteered to come and teach us what to do to relate us with God again. And remember that he died for you and I. He shed his blood as an atonement for every mankind. And I say good morning to you again today. If you are in the afternoon, good afternoon. If you are in the evening, wherever you are, globally, you are evening. Good evening. Today is another wonderful day, a day of glory, a day of power, a day of blessing, a day of atonement, a day that the word of God that is powerful, we correct, we chastise, we direct, we equip somebody, it's the day the Lord has made that you are in today. And as we do say, this is International Christian Association. We will soon have it on the screen. International Christian Association. We do tell people that this is not a church program. There is a fellowship commissioned by God for us to go and, you know, uh, preach mainly about the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ has gone to be there. For the, for the interruption. Yes, to so many of us who have been part of this program, we do tell you it is not a church program like I, I, I do say. It's a, it's a program to, you know, to go and tell people about the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
um, mostly to teach people, to let people know what, you know, those who want to acquire that place, what they need to do to really achieve that kingdom of God. It's a place everyone who knows God. There are some people who doesn't believe in Jesus Christ, but they believe in God. There are people who believe in Jesus Christ. There are people who doesn't even believe in the Holy Ghost. There are so many like that. But what is saying to us is that there are specific things Jesus told us that we need to do in order for us to achieve that kingdom of God. And we have them in the book of life so that we're not just, you know, thinking we are serving God aimlessly without doing those things he wants us to do. Hallelujah. Enough Amen. of crying for, yearning for blessing, 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 enrichment of this sinful world, loss of the world, without taming our mind towards the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because that day shall be a day of yearning, a day of crying, a day of weeping, while some people will be rejoicing. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you want to know how far we have gone on this program, you can visit YouTube, you know, and just search for Prophet Olotu. You will get everything there that is, is, is teaching us that we need to prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we have, you know, other programs that God has given unto us to observe for him. We, we observe the fellowship here in London on Wednesdays in Shatin, Saturdays between 12 and 3 o'clock, on Saturdays in, in Dagnam between 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock. You know, if you want to know more about that, I have my mobile numbers on the screen. You can call me so that I can, I can tell you. We are just coming together interdenominational, you know, you know, worshipers to teach ourselves what <clears throat> God requires of us, you know, to give our giftings, you know, to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not taking you from your church. Just come and listen to what God wants to do to change your life and go and begin to do the same in any way you worship the Lord. You can never be misled. Because the word of God is undiluted that will come from us to you. You cannot be misled. You will need to act according to what God wants from you. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, today is a beautiful day, a day of power, a day of glory. Why don't you back up to somebody around you and tell him or her, yeah, that program is on again on, on your Sky Channel 593. You know, I tell him or her that, yes, today is going to be a day of power, that God is sending us to somebody again today. I believe I am one of them and you are one of them. And it shall be well with you as we do so this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, my <coughs> name is Prophet of Seven, Larry Olotu. And the same man of God will be coming all this while we are here again together today. Evangelist Raphael Omotaya Jiboye, you are welcome, sir. Thank you. God Thank bless you, sir. God bless you. For yes, another beautiful day, the day of the Lord, the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, if, the, if you want to know more about any other program, because I don't want to go into that because of our time, why don't you call it? I will thank God for what God has been doing, you know, over and over on this program for the last year, you have been, you know, enriching. Those who have been touching, people who have been converting, you know, to, to the will of the Lord by himself. All glory be to God in the eyes for that. Amen. And for those who are still going to meet today, we bless God for that one too. Yeah. But God says he's going to do something, you know, treasure to somebody today by his word. And before we go, why don't you, you know, bow down your heads as I invite the man of God to pray for us shortly. Over to you, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we thank you and we welcome you to our midst this morning. Yes, Lord. Today is a special day. Yes, Lord. Let your word fulfill your will today in Jesus' name. Amen. Let your word swallow every other word today in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
let your name only be glorified. Amen. Reach your people. Amen. Reach the nation. Amen. Reach the churches. Amen. Cleanse us, O Lord. Amen. Edify every one of us. Amen. Edify the land. Amen. Edify the church. Amen. Edify the heart. Amen. Let there be transformation. Amen. Let your name be glorified. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, why don't you say me at home? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why don't you look for your Bible? Because we're going to, you know, put the Bible together. Because God is having his work for us in this book of life. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. If you know that song, sing it with us. It's a, it's a, it's a song of appreciation to God for what God is doing in your life, in my life, in our lives together. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't thank him, you cannot receive from him. He we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. You can personalize it to yourself. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jehovah Almighty. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jehovah Almighty. Lord, we give you praise today again. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. For how far you have taken us need to be questioned within us. A man must be able to question himself about what God is doing. Do I want what God is doing in my life? Who is the man that God should visit him? Who are you and I that God should love you and give his only son unto you to die? Hallelujah. Amen. But we acknowledge that this morning. Even on behalf of those who don't say, even see God do something in their lives. <coughs> Excuse me. We acknowledge the fact that God is good to us. It's we that is destroying ourselves. Look at what is happening around us today. Look at what happened, you know, in London, in London Bridge. This few days gone. What we are using to distort, to kill ourselves, is in our hand. Hallelujah. Amen. It's around us. God has made everything beautiful. Hallelujah. Amen. A, a, a bastard will never listen to his dad. There's no how you can, you will not get them. A child that will not listen to the correction of his father, a good father for that matter, not a bad father. Because a bad man will produce a bad, bad children. The word of God is there to guide us, to lead us, to tend us, to enjoyment that God has prepared for us, peace God made for us. But because there's some bastard, I'm not talking, you know, you know this program is not, it's not about religion now. We have bastards all over, all, all the corners of the world. Those that will never allow the word of God to chastise them, to correct them. They just want to do their own thing. It doesn't matter what happens thereafter. They want to destroy every good thing around them. Hallelujah. Amen. That brings about the same topic that we started a few weeks ago to our table again today. And I believe this world is going to travel around the world for everyone to hear what God is saying to them. Who are you? 
Who do you think you are? As a person, are you truly who you proclaim to be? You think you are before people? Do you, do you pretend to be a good husband while you are really a bad one? Do you pretend to be a good wife while you are not even good at all? Do you think you are a good Christian? Do you think you are a good pastor, imam? A prophet, apostle? Do you think you are a good president? A good senator? A good prime minister? Counselor, why you are not? Do you think, as you are saying, you are a good friend? Are you really a good friend to that your friend? Are you truly a good worshiper? Because the Lord said, everyone that will worship him, you know, to the acceptance of heaven, God must serve him in the spirit and the truth. And when you serve God in the spirit, you know, being the spirit, like you know, we normally say, being the spirit does not mean when you prophesy, when you speak in tongues. That is not what the Bible is saying. Many of us might be thinking it is when you are in the, oh my God, when, we, when, when, you, when you speak in the tongue that nobody can hear you, that is where you are serving God in the spirit. No, 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 no. When you actually do what God wants, that is what it is to be in the spirit. That is where you can understand what God is saying to you. You cannot walk in this loss, in this flesh that you carry, in your own mind of mind, and sit thinking you are serving God. Hmm. You are a friend of God. And do you know, because many of us, you know, many of us, we are aspiring for the kingdom of God. The reason why many of us are coming to serve God, we believe, is that yes, a day is coming. That Jesus will come back and we will go home with him. You know that so many people who have that eagerness in their spirit, but yet they don't have the credentials in their hand. This is what is burning the heart of Jesus for this message of this time to come. So that you not think, yes, you are there while you are not at all. Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say to us in the book of Romans chapter 14 from verse 11 to 23? You know, take up your Bible. We are going to read together. Yes, sir. Romans chapter 14 from verse 11. Oh. What does he say? For it is written. For it is written. As I live. Everything about God is written. As I live. Says the Lord. I, God says as long as I live. Every knee shall bow to me. Every shall bow to God. And every tongue shall and confess promise, to God. Every knee shall bow to God. It doesn't matter. Every one of us that goes to for, for, for prayers. Either you are a Muslim. Either you are a Christian. Either you are Hindus. Either whatever or whatever. Most of us always go on our knees. And bow to God. Because we believe that is the castle of God. He requested for us to bow for him. But bowing for him alone might not be enough. He says something for that, sir. And every tongue shall confess. And every tongue shall confess. To God. To God. Many of us, we are confessing God in our tongues. We are getting there. Who do you think you are? Do you think, yes, you are who you are? You think you are? What who you think you are? I am a good Muslim. I am a good Christian. I am a good whatever you want to give yourself as a title. You know that whatever religion you think you are coming from. Do you think it is when you bow down or you confess that you are truly a child of God? Does that make you a child of God alone? He says something for that, sir. So then each of us shall give account of himself to God. So every one of us shall give an account to God one day. Excuse me. You will give an account. I will give an account one day. Every one of us shall surely give an account one day. Maybe you want to be asking questions. Have you been there before? So many of us who know that God does speak to his own. Those who believe that, we actually know that God still speaks to his people. 
He is coming back one day. Judgment shall come one day. Yes, sir. Therefore, Therefore, let us not judge one another. We must not judge one another anymore. Somebody is saying you are, you know, you know, it is my religion that God loves. It is my religion that God loves. So if, if you don't love my religion, you are not, you are not a child of God. If you don't believe in my religion, we hate ourselves. And God said, "Thou shalt not judge one another. Don't hate anybody. Love everyone." Whoever you will not be able to change, to convince, to your religion, leave that person to God. Let God convince him. Let God change him. You don't need to kill one another because you have, you have spoken to that person. It's not coming to my religion. And you think that's the only way you want to show to God that yes, I am a good Samaritan. He says something for that. Yes, sir. but rather, but rather, resolve this. Resolve this. Not to put a stumbling block or, or a cause to fall in our brother's way. Don't put any stumbling block, any asunder, any 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 stone on the way of oh my God, on the understanding of anyone between him and God. Don't put. Don't in fact. Don't make anyone to fall. We need to be careful to know who we think we are. Somebody who knows what God wants, who wants to do the will of God, but because you don't like it, and you make sure you convince that person not to do the right thing. A judgment shall come one day. We must not put stubbornly block on anyone's way. Hallelujah. Amen. Every one of us knows the right things to do, says the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. I, it baffles me at times when you hear many people are say, they say there is no difference between Quran and the Bible. Everything is there. And yet we are killing ourselves unnecessarily. Hallelujah. Amen. It baffles me. Is that something for that, sir? Yeah. I know and I'm convinced by the Lord Jesus. I know I'm persuaded by the Lord Jesus Christ. That there is nothing unclean of himself. There is nothing unclean on himself. But to him who considers anything we to are be unclean. The one that is making things unclean. To him it is unclean. Uh -uh, to him it's unclean. Yet if your brother is grieved because of your food. It's we that is making things unreal. Things that God has made perfect is we that is destroying it. We are making them unclean because of what we do. Hallelujah. Amen. Love is, is a clean gesture to God. But because you don't love, it becomes stain. You want to kill anybody, it doesn't matter. Yes, sir. Yet, if your brother is grieved because of your food. If your brother is grieved because of your food. You are no longer walking in love. You are no longer walking in love. Do look, not... at what, look at what Esau, I mean, Cain, yes. uh, 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 yes. did to Abel, brother of the same mom, of the same dad. It, it does not come from a polygamy. A, 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 a child of the same mother, the same father. And they both gave sacrifice to God. Gave what they have to God. And yet, he kills his brother because of that. Oh. Many of us today, we think we are serving God. We are actually working for God. Some people said, the amount of people you kill here, hmm. because of your religion, will determine you know, the kind of marriage you get in heaven. There's no marriage in heaven anyway. No marriage in heaven. The Bible says, Jesus said, there'll be no marriage in heaven. Because when he came here, the disciple asked him, he said, there will be no marriage in heaven. Don't be deceived. No marriage in heaven. You, you kill here, you kill here. Uh, 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 so you change. Hellfire. No marriage. Hallelujah. Amen. He doesn't want us to do evil. Don't carry religion and begin to do evil with your religion. Because that will prove who you are before the Lord. 
Yes, sir. Do not destroy with your food the one for whom Christ died. Yes. Therefore, do not let your good be spoken of as evil. You know, you know, look at this. Jesus Christ came to die for every one of us. Either you are in Hindus, you are whatever, you are a Christian. In fact, the blood of Jesus, Jesus is see hawk is looking for those, hawking them, looking for those that are here to be in his fold today. So why must you hate somebody that Jesus died for? You think because you are a pastor, you are a pastor, you must you are number one in the church. No, 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 no. Because you are an apostle, you are uh, you are the founder. No, 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 no. It's the business of God, business of the kingdom of God. You must respect, you know, it's, it's, the issue is that it's, we, you, you, are, you are a children of the same family. It doesn't matter who, let's assume your father has um, uh, 100 children and you are the eldest. The last born will have the same share you have. Will bear the same surname of your dad. The same gene of your dad. The same thing to every one of us. If you are a Christian, that church is not yours. It's a church of everyone that come to believe in Jesus. Because he is the one who died for them. You are not the one. Treat them the way you want heaven to treat you. If too late, you are who God says you are. And Jesus Christ said to Peter, Peter, feed my sheep. He didn't say, feed your sheep. He said, my sheep. They are mine. Give them, nurture them. Give them good food. Treat them equally. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you a good pastor? Where you think, yeah, you can just do anything in the church of God. You think it's your property. It's not your property. It's the property of God. There will be questions that day. Are you a good pastor? How many of God have you delayed? How many of all have you convinced to the kingdom? How many of them have you given the right food to eat on my table? Hallelujah. Amen. Don't think this message for those who are not yet in Christ. Being in Christ is doing what God says you should do. And let God come to perfect the rest. He says something for that. Yeah. Therefore, Therefore, do not let your good be spoken of as evil. Don't allow that your good work to become an evil in your hand. For the kingdom of God is not eating. Don't allow drinking. that your good gets that good assignment that God has given unto you. The message of Jesus Christ, the message of the cross, the message of God to mankind is for us to befriend ourselves, to love one another, to love God. Nothing more than that one. Love one another. Don't let that love one another become evil in your hand. A day of judgment, it shall be a taboo on your, your table. You can see, you can see, stimulate people against one another today, to kill one another today because of religion. But one day is coming that you won't be able to kill again. It will be you and your judgment before the Lord. Oh. He says something, sir. Yeah. For the kingdom, for the kingdom of, of God, God is not eating and drinking. That you are aspiring for. It's not, it's not, it's not preparing yeah. table before me to overflow. No, it's not about eating and drinking alone. But righteousness. The kingdom of God is about everything you do rightly before God. And peace. Oh my God. The way you cause, you cause peace between two friends, between two homes, between your marriage, between your churches, between, between even your communities. And joy. It determines if you are going to enter, if I'm going to enter to that kingdom of God we are talking about. He has laid down this precedent for us. Who do you think you are? Do you think in your heart of heart you are the first person that went to that kingdom of God when Jesus comes and you have not started to walk according to that place before the Lord? You have not done anything right before him. You know how to destroy people behind. You know how to fornicate. You can, you can even sleep with your friend's wife. It doesn't matter to you. Because you have money, you can do anything. You can imprison anybody. Nobody will question you. You can invest with money. Nobody will question you. And that day, 
I don't know the kind of question God will ask from you. Maybe from so many many of uh, our senators in Nigeria, <laughs> where I come from, uh, governors in Nigeria, I don't know. You might build a church for God, cathedral, it doesn't matter. It might be the question you will ask from you that is that, why, why did you vie for that position as a senator when you know that you will look after my people? They are not your people. You may come from a community you think it's my town. It is not your community. The Bible says God owns heaven and earth and everything therein. If you don't know today, that might be your question that day. Why didn't you look after my people when you said you're going to be their governor? And you got there, you embezzled every money you needed to look after them. That might be the, the only reason why you won't get to that kingdom of God. Who do you think you are? Are you the say, are you the real person you think you are before the Lord? Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Go and read the rest. There are some things he said to us in that place that we need to know more about. Don't ever think, yes, this what we are talking about is about food. When you give food to people there, you buy their conscience. The Bible says, whoever give bribe, buy conscience. So some people, when they want to buy the question of people, they, they prepare a table before them. That might not be what Jesus will ask you that day. Hallelujah. Amen. Who do you think you are? Hmm. Let's see what the Bible is saying in the book of Luke chapter 16. From verse 19, sir. There's a man in the Bible. Jesus gave this parable to us. And whatever Jesus says by himself means it is going to be a real story. Hallelujah. Amen. From, from verse 19, sir. There was a certain rich man. There was a certain rich man. Who was clothed in the purple and fine Very linen. Very rich indeed. And fair subtly every day. Very rich indeed. That he, he put up glory with what he has gotten in his, in, I mean, in his hand. But there was a certain beggar there named was Lazarus. another beggar named Lazarus. A beggar indeed. Full of sores. Full of sores. Wounds on his body. He... Who was laid at his gate? This man was laid at the gate of this rich man. Desiring to because be fed. Because he cannot move closer to this rich man. He's a poor man and the rich man will not accept him into his house. But he stayed at the entrance of his gate. Desiring, yes, to, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man. Desiring Mastodi. to be fed with every crumbs that come fell from the table of this man. He does it in the heart of his heart. He knew he cannot sit down on the same table with this man. But the crumbs that fall on the ground is what he's expecting. Like we have today in our environment, in our environs all over the world, there are so many people that what they are just asking for is their daily bread. For God's sake, cry aloud. For cry aloud, for God's sake. In Nigeria, where I, uh, the story we hear, they don't pay salaries. They don't pay uh, their entitlement pensions. They don't pay this, they don't pay this. How, how do you expect people to feed their children, for God's sake? And you, and you say you are, you are leaders. Yeah, you can do that here. A day is coming. That don't we suffer, we'll see you. We are getting there. What happened there after, sir? Mor Who do you think you are? Moreover, Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sauce. And you know he has a dog. He will leave, he will release the dogs to come and lick the wound of that man. So it was that the, that the beggar died and was carried by the angels to In Abraham. Because Boston. of that, the beggar died because... What he needed to, to, to sustain him was not given to him. It was punishment upon punishment. Instead of him to tie his dogs, for this man to be able to, to eat the crumbs. You know how we look after dogs here, our pets here in the Western world. Instead of him to take that pet to another place to eat, you know, his food. He released that dog to come and link the saw. The saw. 
of Lazarus. In the course of that, he died. And the angel came to carry him. That person you think is not rich. <laughs> might not be who you think he is, might be a best friend of the Lord. That the, the, way, the way you are punishing him will make God to even have interest in him most. Hallelujah. Amen. Who do you think you are? It's not, I know you, you might not like this sermon, but that is what God is saying to you. Who do you think you are? Is what you are doing correct with what God wants? Does it go well with what God is saying you should do on here or not? If I don't do the eye that is speaking, if I don't do it, I will meet my doom up there one day. Even my will be more brutal because I said it. And you didn't do it. So, so many of us that are preachers, doesn't matter where you start to preach. Either you are a Muslim, you are an Hindu, you are or everything you teach will judge you that day. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, sir. The rich man also died. The and rich was man also died. Every one of us will die. He also, also died. And being in torment, torments in AIDS. And he finds himself in torment. He lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Jesus Christ <laughs> said that the way that shall come, we will know ourselves. <laughs> you will know the voice of your husband that was here or not. Though you will not be in this same, you know, body, body you will have been transformed. But you will know the voice of everyone. Hallelujah. Amen. And he find himself in torment. What happened thereafter? Then he cried and said. Then he cried and said. Father Abraham. Father Abraham. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. And said that he knows that he knows that somebody needs mercy. When he could not he could not show mercy to Lazarus. You know that. There are so many leaders today. There are so many friends today we have who actually knows that everyone around him needs mercy. They will never show mercy one day. And when they now find themselves in trouble, to be asking for mercy. Who do you think you are? My father Abraham, have mercy. What does what's the answer to? And send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger send in water Lazarus. and cool my tongue. Lazarus has been gloriously welcomed home. He's in charge now. That person you think is, is very little today. Might be the one that be in charge tomorrow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Man. Is the one Lazarus needed crumbs of that food of the rich man to sustain himself. The rich man denies him. He's now asking him to dip his finger on water and bring it to him to kill his stars. For I am tormented in this flame. Yes, sir. But Abraham says, son. Abraham says, son. Remember that in your lifetime. Abraham says, son. Many of us, we call ourselves sons of Abraham. Sons of Abraham. It may be because we are the region where you come from. Some people, they come from the eastern region of the world. So they are dead. We are all children of Abraham. Fine. But your attitude that day will determine who you are. Your way of life will determine that you are truly a son of Abraham or a bastard to, to, to Abraham. Remember, Abraham said, son. He didn't say, I didn't know you. He said, my son. Though you are my son. But you didn't do what the word of God says you should do. Remember said, that in your lifetime, in your lifetime, you receive your good things. You receive all your good things. And likewise, Lazarus, evil things. And Lazarus, you know, evil things, bad but, things. But now, but he's, now he's comforted. He's comforted. And you are tormented. Some, some day, some day is coming that some will be comforted. They suffer here. You tormented them here. You ignore them here. But God says one day is coming that they will be comforted. Then what will happen to the rich man? But, but, uh, the Lazarus, he foot, he foot it. but now he is comforted and you are tormented. Yes. And beside all this, uh -huh. between us and you, between us and you, there is a great God fix. That will be gap that day. So that those who want to pass from the air, that want to pass from the air fire to you cannot. To the kingdom of God, they won't be able to go. They will fall flat. That, no, can those from there pass to us? Uh, let's uh, let them go and read the rest. 
Hallelujah. Amen. There is coming ahead of you. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter the kind of enjoyment you go through here or not. To suffer others, you shall meet it. It doesn't matter who you are. You can carry, you, you might think you carry anointing. And Jesus Christ says, Son will come that day. And they will say, Lord, I heal in your name. Ah, I cast out demons in your name. Just, I don't know you. Because your attitude doesn't prove that you are mine. Hmm. When Jesus, did you, did you ever heard that God took away gift from, from Satan? Evil. No. The man of the evil. The leaders of evil. No, God will not take away your gift from you. So don't let your gift deceive you. It is what you do, what, the, what your mind brings out into your community matters to God. Yeah, you can die, you can knife people today, you can, you can go people down today, you can kill people today, but the day is coming. You can see change now. Now let God be God in your life. Then he said, I beg you, therefore, Father, yes. that you will send him to my father's house uh -huh. for her five brothers, uh -huh. that he may testify to them, uh -huh. lest they also come to this place of torment. Uh -huh. Abraham said to him, He said to him, They have Moses and the prophet. We have preachers in the world. Let them hear them. He, look at, look at, look at, look at this parable. It was during the time of Jesus Christ. Moses was no more then. But look at what Abraham said to him. There are people like Moses. There are preachers in the world. If they will not listen to them, good preachers, not, not bad ones. There are good preachers in the world today. You should be able to know the difference between good and bad. When you want to kill somebody for God's sake, it is bad. God doesn't want to kill anybody. They love. That is not the will of God. You need to know the will of God from the will of Satan. Satan is a man of evil. He has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. God only came to give us life together. Peace among God. Peace within us. And the peace now has been truncated in our community because of the thought that is coming from our heart. And he said, no, Father Abraham. He said. But if one goes to them from the dead, uh -huh. they will repent. Hey, but he said to him, hey, if they do not hear Moses and prophets, uh, neither will they be persuaded uh, to do one rise from the dead. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't need to hear from those who came from the grave. Thank God we have so many of them today who died. And she come back to tell us, I saw Jesus Christ. I saw Emmanuel. I saw this. I saw this. Even you don't need that to know the difference between good and bad. Whatever you don't want for yourself, don't do it to any other person. So he knew that he needed mercy. Look at many of them, those people who, who, who keep it with, with bomb, when they catch them, they'll be asking for forgiveness. Oh. You know that what you are doing is not bad, I mean, it's not good, and you still keep on doing it. As an husband in the house, you know, you said, you, you had vowed in your heart, I'm going to deal with this woman, in this, man, in this marriage. A day is coming, it's because you don't know who you are. Marriage was instituted by God. It's not a place where you can suffer one another. The moment you do it, you are, you know, waiting, you know, something's awaiting you ahead of you. You must make sure you allow the will of God to overrule every evil inside of you. That is where you can achieve this place that you are talking about. Hallelujah. Amen. It's the message of the Lord. He says something in the book of Galatians. Yeah. Chapter 5. For you, brethren, for you, brethren, for you, brethren, have been called to liberty. You have been called to liberty. Only do not use. You have been called to freedom. Oh. Not to bind. I'm coming, sir. You are not meant to be bound by anybody. Man, God has called us to freedom, to liberty. He wants us to be free from our heart of heart. Why, sir? Do not use your liberty as an opportunity. Don't lose your, your liberty as an opportunity. For the flesh. To, oh my, to allow flesh to use you. But true love serve one another. Oh my God. Don't let who you think you are, your position, whatever you think you are, to overrule the will of God and let flesh take you over. 
I will deal with him. I will tell him that I'm this. You are not nobody. Mm. Let's love that God wants to suppress whatever you then you carry. Yes, sir. For all the law is full fulfilled in is in one word. Even in this, the, you shall love your neighbor every, as yourself. Oh my God. There is nothing too difficult for us to understand about God. Every law that He gave unto us, even the laws that we have in this country today, it's about love. It's about love. When you love your countrymen, when you get to the tra tra traffic light, Amber, you just stop. When you see somebody in danger, you rescue. You, you know, it's all about love. When you love somebody, you're not doing him evil. When you love somebody, when he or she needs help, you let her that help. That is what love does. Love does not kill people. It does not hate people. Yes, sir. But if you be, if you bite and destroy one another, hey, hey. beware lest when you be you consumed destroy, by one another. When you allow what you can to destroy another person, it is dangerous for you too one day. Let's go quickly, sir. Yes, sir. I said then. I said then. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit of God. And you shall not fulfill the laws of the flesh. When you walk in the spirit of God, flesh will not be with you. For the flesh lost against the spirit. The, the, this, this flesh that we are talking about always want to fight against the spirit. And the spirit against the flesh. The two, you know, every one of us carry the two together. Both spiritual and the carnality. The flesh, every one of us carries it. But you must be aware, be careful, so that this, the flesh will not overrule the spirit of God. I said earlier on, I said being the spirit, doing what God wants. And these are contrary to one another. They are contrary to one another. So that you do not do the things that you wish. So that you not do what you always want to do. But if you are led by the spirit. If you are led by the spirit of God. You are not under the law. You are not <laughs> under the law. Now the work of the flesh are evident. When you allow the spirit of God to rule you. You don't need to read any, any anything. You know, some people, for some people, when, when they get to your house, they destroy it. When they get to their own house, they, you know, they guide it very well. It is not the spirit of God. Do unto others as you want. Oh. You want to burn somebody's house, and you don't want yours to be burned. It is carnality. Now, now, the works of the flesh are evident. These are the works of the flesh. Which they are, are, they are adultery, adultery, fornication, fornication, uncleanness, yes, lewdness, uh -huh. adultery, yes, sorcery, uh -huh. hatred, uh -huh. contentions, yes. jealousies, uh -huh. adverse uh -huh. of wrath, uh -huh. selfish ambition, dissensions, heresies, envy, murderers, drunkenness, revelries, and the like of which I tell you before. And just as I also told you in time past that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. You know what the Bible says there? You can't do it to yourself. Mm -mm. You cannot hate yourself. Mm. But the moment you do so, so, to, to somebody, it becomes flesh. Sorcery, you cannot do it to yourself. You must do it to somebody because, before it becomes sin. Which means what it says here is about... You are somebody. You are your friend. That person you call your friend. Then he says something for that. But the fruit of the spirit but is... But the fruit of the spirit is this. It's love. Love. Joy. Joy. Peace. You have joy, you know, as your friend. You have joy over everything that he has. Whatever is rejoicing over, you rejoice over it. Some people, they hate people because of what they are rejoicing over. Hallelujah. Amen. Joy. Yes, sir. Long suffering. Long suffering. Kindness. Kindness. Goodness. Goodness. Faithfulness. Uh -huh. Gratefulness. Self-control. Oh, my God. Against such, there is no law. No law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with his passion and desire. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another. Hallelujah. Envy one another. He says, when you are... You, you know you're, that you are a man of the spirit. Not to be a man of the spirit. Walk in the spirit. There are two different things. That when you are in the spirit, it's not enough. You must walk in the, in the spirit. spirit. Let that spirit of God you know, rule you over. Change you. When you want to do something that is bad, 
That we say, no, no, don't do it. It's not meant for you as a child of God. And you consider to that word. And you say, okay, let me, for what God is saying, let me leave it behind. But if you want to carry on with it, that is when you are allowing the lust of flesh to rule over the Spirit of God inside of you. Judgment will come one day. Judgment will come one day. Judgment will come one day. Who do you think you are? Are you who you say you are? And in your mind, you know that, and you know I'm not who I say that I, I am. Oh, you know that some people they call themselves, you know, good friends, and they are the one planting, you know, shame for you, snare on your way. They want to kill you, and when they come to you, they say they are your friends. Hallelujah. Amen. And there are so many people who have done evil to, to their loved ones. Who do you think you are? If truly you are aspiring for the kingdom of God, do so today. Change from your evil ways. So that when Jesus shall come, he will say, that is my daughter, that is my son. It's only about you and God. For the last day shall surely come. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. sir. Brethren. Brethren. If a man is overtaken in any trespass. If a man is taken over in any trespass. You who are spiritual. From the spirit of God. You that is spiritual. Restore such a one. Restore, restore such person. In the spirit of gentleness. In the spirit of gentleness. Considering yourself lest you also be tempted. Uh -huh. Be a one another's burdens. Be a one another's burdens. And so fulfill the law of Christ. If you call yourself a spiritualist, you know God very well. Ah, you know God very well. And there are somebody, you know somebody, they don't call some, some people carefully. If that person is carefully. Unbeliever. Unbeliever. Mm. What the Bible says, bring that person to the spirit of God gently. Gently. <laughs> You know, it's about telling them the word of God, what God wants. There's no one other heavenly that God cannot change. That can God cannot cage. I have never seen any person that God cannot handle. For you, if, don't, you don't handle people with force. Yeah. Yes, for, sir. for if anyone think himself to be something, if anybody should think himself to be something, when he is nothing, when he's about this, that is not, it's nobody. He deceive himself. He says, <laughs> that is what we are talking about. If you think I am, you are, you are, you are, how do I say, you are presenting yourself to people that you are godly, and you know in your heart or heart you are not, you know what to do behind. <laughs> And you call yourself an apostle, prophet, you have mega churches. He says, <laughs> you are nothing. It is now you can still change from those evil things that you but do. But let each one examine his own work. Let every one of us examine his or our work today. And then he will have rejoicing in himself Re alone. Go and sit back today and let this world change you as a family man. All those things that you do, that you know, go and change from it. Family woman, all those things that you do, even within your marriage, go and change for me. Because of some things you know what to practice against the will of God, go and change for me. Because the day shall come that God will ask, will ask you a question. That you will never be able to answer. For each one shall bear his own blood. We shall bear our own bodies. Every one of us. That day. The vow you gave. The day you are entered that office. Don't forget. It is with the Bible. Some with Quran. Some with those you know idolaters they believe in. And they are all good <laughs> confessions. And if God should not come back to that oath of that day, you have you have zero point. As a married man, 
you know the oath that you enter into that day and you have violated it, a day of judgment shall surely come. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, before we go, because of our time today, to every one of us who have been watching, either you need prayer or you don't need prayer, my prayer for us today is that the sweet to serve God Amen. rightly. Amen. We enter into us in the name of Jesus. Amen. God. Because my Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Amen. When you seek God, you do his will. Then he says, every other thing shall be added unto you. You will not suffer for anything. Amen. You will not suffer for anything. That thing that you need today is attached to doing the will of God. And I pray with you one, once again today, the mercy of the Lord will take you over Amen. and rule your heart of heart. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will not miss the kingdom of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, he will come back the same time next week. In Jesus studies. I pray for this land that the peace of God will reign supreme. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There will be no tribulation anymore Amen. in this land. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. God the Son. Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Till we come back the same time next week. For me and for the man of God, we are saying to you that Jesus loves you. Give your life to him. He will rule you with his peace and righteousness. Amen. And the joy of the Lord will feed the land. Amen. And so shall it be not to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That one that is watching the television, I should have called in. What you are thinking in your heart now, receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, yes. Receive it. Amen. In the name of Jesus a Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, our Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 God bless you. Hallelujah. Wonderful story of God.